Um, good evening. My name is Randy Donaldson. Thank you very much for trying to read my handwriting. Um, I am a resident of uh, Harvard, have been uh, up there for about 20 years now, um, have been in IT for, for longer than that, anything more than 20 years, it's just historical. And I'm also the owner of the uh, Firehouse Depot, the coffee shop up there in Harvard. Um, and I'm here to talk about internet um, and the importance that it is and how we out in Harvard are really, 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 really in need of it. Um, and I see that every day in my coffee shop. Um, the depot is one of the few places where you can get free, uh, free Wi-Fi. Um, during the pandemic, our parking lot was full of teachers and students. We invited them in. Um, those same teachers would tell us that there is no place to go for free internet. Uh, the McDonald's has basically turned into a drive-in, so you can't go there. The library turns off their Wi-Fi after hours, so you can't go there. There is no place to go. Um, internet is something that is only going to come by us doing it. It's like when they were talking about rural uh, America. I was born in rural Oklahoma. I grew up in rural Texas. And the only way that they got electricity and telephone was to pull that wire themselves. Rural America has been pulling our own wire for a long time. Um, and it's because there is no value to the companies that provide the service to ever come out here. I will give you a real quick example of that. Anyone who's ever driven 14 between Woodstock and um, Harvard will know about the deep cut hole. That's where your phone drops off when you go up across deep cut. That's because that hole has been there for 20 years. The phone companies know about that. They could fix it. They don't. There is no value. Your phones will continue to be cut off. Um, Mr. Austin's done a fantastic job. He has talked with people about getting, uh, companies about getting fiber to the houses. Now the work comes. What do we do with that fiber <laughs> once we have it there? Who controls it? Who says that seniors get a break? who says that students get a break? Is it us that are gonna be in control over what we do with our services? Or is it gonna be a... If you could summarize your comments, please. Uh, or is it gonna be a third party provider? And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much.